So yeah, hey everybody, look what's going on. My name is Terry, welcome back to the channel, and yes, I know I'm sick, it's why I haven't made content in a few days, you know. This topic here, I actually wanted to cover a couple of days or so ago at the moment it broke on the uh, 15th, so 2-3 days ago now, depending on when you're watching this. And uh, frankly, I was just too sick to do it. Uh, just head cold, kicking my, my butt right now. But in case those of you out there might have missed it, Lester, aka at Chen on Twitter here. Of course, Mr. Uh, at Chen here is the global head of gaming creators over at YouTube. He is no longer at YouTube Gaming uh, or just YouTube in general. You know what I mean? And then a few months before this here, we had Fwizzly. And of course, he was the actual head of YouTube Gaming. Uh, from what I can remember. And um, to be honest, I'm not quite sure where this puts YouTube gaming in the grand scheme of things. And you know what scares me personally for the people on YouTube gaming is that it seems like, and I can remember, you know, Valkyrie and, you know, Courage was talking about this here about a year or so ago. They kept saying like how, oh yeah, we're being told that these, that, you know, this feature and that feature, they are coming, they're in the works, but that's all we ever hear about them. We never actually see them follow through with a lot of the stuff they're talking about. And I believe just recently, YouTube Gaming just now got gifted memberships. But whenever it was first rolled out, if a person wanted to gift a membership, they themselves had to be a member first. But I think they revised that to where anybody can gift a membership now, regardless of your membership status. So like, that's a good feature in my opinion. No, it's just fine. But my whole thing with this is that with two of the biggest people at the platform no longer at the helm, uh, I'm just trying to figure out where YouTube gaming is going to go from here. Are they going to keep trying to innovate? Are they going to keep trying to bring over other big names from Twitch? You know, like, and a matter of fact, I'm a little brain fog right now, but uh, I believe a few weeks or so ago, I actually did a video about why I believe these big casters moving over to YouTube gaming isn't really a big deal. And mainly because, uh, as I've said before, you know, same thing with the Mixer move that Ninja and Shroud made. Like, yeah, it was, it was awesome to see Mixer on top there for a little bit with those big names. But at the same time, though, that still didn't save the platform. Like, Mixer still died. You know, like, I'm not saying YouTube gaming or YouTube in general is going anywhere at all. No, they are not. But at the same time, though, it's, it's like these people are moving over because they have a big old fat contract to do so not because they might think it is you know for the benefit of their own careers in content creation down the line you know what i mean i mean if somebody offered me tens of million dollars to stream exclusively on youtube gaming for a year i would too like anybody would heck yeah i'll be secured for the rest of my entire life and i'll be good sure why not you know but what it all boils down to is this here, okay? I would love to hear what you all think out there in the, uh, well, YouTube comments here. And please be kind, okay? Where do you all see YouTube gaming going? Do you see them still trying to innovate, still trying to add new features to become a place where Twitch streamers want to move to? Or do you think just everything right now, sort of kind of the status quo is, is just how it's going to stay? Do me a favor, sign up in the comments below, and I will catch you guys and gals next time.